hello guys let's look at this problem this is from lead course weekly challenge let's see how we can solve this problem so problem statement says that we are given in cities which are numbered from 0 to n minus 1 and there are roads between these cities and there are exactly n minus 1 roads and the connections are representing that there is a road from this node to this node that means if 0 and 1 are each is a tuple in this particular connections array then means there is an edge directing from 0 to 1 and similarly 4 to 0 then means there is an edge directing from 4 to 0 what we need to do is we need to ensure that uh, by adding some roads uh, into this particular connections graph so that from starting from any node we can reach to node 0 so if we take this example here what we were supposed to do is we needed to ensure that if we start from 1 we should be able to reach 0 and we start from 3 we should be able to reach 0 and so on for each node so if we for example let's consider 1 for now if we start from 1 we would never be able to reach 0 because there is no edge directing from 1 to 0 or directly or indirectly similarly for 3 and we can uh, start from 2 and reach till 3 but again as we kids we have seen previously that 3 cannot be I mean from 3 we cannot reach 0 so starting from 2 also we cannot reach similarly from 5 we cannot go to 4 uh, we cannot go to 4 and from 4 4 so 4 is the only node that can lead to 0 without any modification so the minimum number of uh, changes that we can do here is just uh, as you can see the gray in the red ones we can just uh, change the direction here and in that way we would be able to reach from each node to this node 0 similarly here also you can just consider in, in the third example both of them are already pointing to 0 so we can reach to 0 from each of them it is also given that this graph will not have any uh, cycle I mean it's not given but yeah with n nodes and n minus 1 ages between them we can never have one cycle also yeah the total number of nodes are given to be 10 to the power 4 there will not be any self connection so let's consider how we can solve this one so in the current state when the graph given graph is a directed one it will be hard for us to do a DFS or BFS and try to find, try to reach from one node to other node. But uh, what we can do is we can try to uh, add fake node, fake edges to each of these relations in the uh, in the different order as well. Like for example, if we were given one, two, three, as well, we could, we should add. Uh, let me choose a different color so that we can distinguish. We should add one more node start uh, one more edge starting from three to one then here as well we can add one more node starting from three to two so that it becomes bi-directional so that it's easy for us to start from one node and reach the other node let me just uh, add for now and will explain you why we why do we need this so once we have uh, all the edges as a bi-directional edge we'll start our DFS starting from 0 and check whether we can reach from 0 to all the nodes following the fake edge or the original edge so if we are going to follow the original edge this means that if there were no fake edge we would have not reached from that particular node to 0 node so for example if we were to reach from 0 to 1 then we know that uh, using the original edge then we know that it would not be possible to come back to zero uh, without this fake edge so in this case we would increase the counter by one similarly now that we are at one and we would check that mm, because now we have made one uh, zero to one as a possible edge we will not consider for the previous one we will just simply check for one now what happens for one all the nodes which are achievable from three uh, from one we'll check for them so for one there is only one node which is achievable from three and that is also using the original one that means if there were no fake edge we would have never reached um, back to one and then back to zero 
uh, starting from the 3 so in this case also we would need one more edge so we will increase our contour to 2 and so uh, let me just uh, add these uh, colors here so that we we can know so here we would need this one and also here we would need this one now we have reached 3 and we have ensured that there are edges there are roads to reach from 1 to 0 and 3 to 0 we will check for 3 from 3 we would need the fake edge to reach to 2 that means there was an edge existing from for 2 from 2 to reach to 3 already so we would not increase this uh, counter here and then we'll recurse back in using the dfs uh, in the dfs itself what are we going to do now is we are going to get for the another branch of starting from zero so the other branch is uh, also using the fake edge to reach the next node that is four so if we are not using the original node that means there was already an edge coming from this node to zero and so we will not need to add another edge here so we will just we have just ensured that they, from 4 we can always reach to 0 without adding any extra edge there now from 4 we have a direct original edge to 5 which is its uh, child node so our, uh, not child we can say adjacent node and then what it means is that we cannot come back from 5 to 4 without this fake edge so we would need one extra edge starting from 5 till 4 here so overall it added three nodes uh, three uh, three more edges to the existing a existing network so that from uh, starting from each node we will be able to travel back to zero as we have seen that uh, if we have this bi-directional network in, instead of unidirectional network and if we start from zero that means do a dfs from zero what is the pattern that we are following is if we are following the original node to reach from 0 to the adjacent node we will add a cost otherwise we will not add a cost so when making this edge i mean when making this graph we can simply add a weight to each edge like when we can add a weight from 0 to 1 as uh, 1 and then we can add a weight from 1 to 0 as 0 similarly from 1 to 3 the weight of this edge should be 1 and then for the fake one it should be 0 here as well starting from 3 to 2 it should be 0 and starting from 2 to 3 it should be 1 so for each original edge we will add weight 1 and for each fake edge we can add we can add a uh, weight 0 so how these ads ages can be added and all these fake weights that can be given to these ages let's take a look at the code to understand it better so uh, i have already solved this one and let me just walk you through the code so we are given these connections and we can uh, have a vector of array to create our to maintain our graph and these uh, these are the edges the x de denotes an age and zero tells you the the edge is diversing from x of 0 is the source node and x of 1 is a target node for each edge so we have been given that uh, there is an edge existing from x of 0 to x of 1 so we will simply add one uh, add this particular uh, edge to our network it to, that means to our graph and as uh, we have discussed that we can we should add a cost of this way that means a weight of this edge as one because this is the original one and then we can add a reverse edge that will be a fake one with the cost zero and then what we are going to do is we are going to do a dfs where we will maintain a, a global answer and we will start the dfs from zero to zero i mean zero node and the parent node should be zero so we are going to do a dfs and we'll check if the adjacent one is not a parent one because now we have a bi-directional edge so we it can lead into a an infinite uh, inf infinite loop of uh, child node calling its parent itself if so we will just ignore if this one is the parent itself otherwise for all the adjacent node 
we will check whether the second value that means if this particular age is a uh, original one through which we have traversed to this particular adjacent node then we will increase the our answer otherwise uh, we will just keep it that uh, that much only and do a dfs from the adjacent node so yeah i hope uh, i was able to explain you guys uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you like my work thanks for watching this video guys